Hey guys, Eddie Flipronics. I've got the uh, LG G3 versus the Apple iPhone 6. Um, you know, both these phones have really nice designs. Uh, the LG G3 has the metal-like design, but it's really just plastic, and the iPhone 6 has the aluminum uh, stainless steel, um, which I actually really like. Um, with all these reports of the phone bending and everything, I haven't really seen um, any reason why it would bend, but I haven't really been that hard with it at the same time. Um, as far as the weight of both phones, the iPhone 6 weighs uh, about 4.5 ounces compared to the 5.2 ounces of the LG G3. Going to be a little bit of a weight difference, but really nothing uh, serious there. But um, overall design, guys, I really like the iPhone 6 designs. Um, I do like the G3 um, quite a bit, but for some reason I, I like this new iPhone. I think it's uh, just a really nice look, a lot better than the uh, previous uh, phone they had. Um, as far as uh, screen size, uh, the iPhone 6 has a 4.7 inch screen with a 7 by 750 by 1334 pixel resolution, and the LG G3 has a 5.5 inch screen with a 1440 by 2560 pixel resolution. So the G3, um, you're gonna get the bigger screen, obviously, which is gonna be better in a lot of ways for uh, you know watching videos, browsing the internet, and everything. Um, and it's got a much better resolution on it, uh, which is something to think about even if you're an iPhone user. Um, you know, the G3 definitely, uh, you're going to get um, just a better overall experience when it comes to, uh, you know, that. Camera-wise, the G3 also has a better camera on it, a 13 megapixel uh, back camera with a 2.1 front-facing camera. It's got the dual LED flash. And the iPhone 6 has an 8 megapixel back camera with a 1.2 front facing camera and it also has dual LED flash. Uh, both these phones have um, some really nice uh, features as far as actually taking the pictures with the image stabilization and everything else that it can do. Uh, but you know the G3 has also has the laser autofocus for the uh, camera. So the G3 um, better camera as well. I do like the iPhone 6 camera but um, you know, using the G3s, I still prefer it. Um, as far as uh, processors, the uh, G3's got a um, 2500 megahertz quad-core processor, and the um, iPhone 6 has an Apple A8 dual-core 1400 megahertz processor on it. Um, the uh, iPhone 6 does not allow for an SD card still. They have not wanted to uh, add that feature to their phones. I don't know why. The G3 does up to 128 gigabytes. Um, and it's going to be a faster phone. i um, going to be doing some speed tests with both phones, but for the most part I would have to say the G3 is going to be a faster phone considering that it's got a quad-core processor on it. Uh, the iPhone 6, um, you know, still pretty fast, but we'll see how the speed tests go. And then as far as battery life, um, the uh, iPhone 6, you're probably going to get, you know, around 14 hours talk time, which is pretty low. The phone is bigger, obviously, but um, than their previous uh, phones, but uh, battery life's not going to be that good. I've already experienced some bad battery life on it, to tell you the truth, and I don't have that much uh, running on the phone. And then the G3, 3000 mAh built-in battery, uh, probably get around 20 hours to actual talk time on it. Um, which is, you know, really good, I would say, for sure. So you're going to get some better battery life on the G3. And they're both about the same size phone. Um, well, not the same size, but they're not too far away from each other. Uh, anyways, guys, uh, both these phones have their own cool, unique features, obviously. Um, but, I mean, depending on if you are prefer uh, iOS over Android, you'll probably still stick with your iOS, but, you know, the G3 is still, I feel, a better phone. But I'll be doing some more videos on these guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more, and be sure to subscribe to our channel.